Yes, Prof. So this is the A320, example number one. So this is typical L angle. Repair. And this is flange, flange. So what is flange? So this is flange. This is flange. And this is a vertical flange. And the other one is horizontal flange. <coughs> so this is vertical flange and horizontal flange. So flange cut out. So you cut out the horizontal flange. This area is being cut out. Horizontal flange. Then they install a angle doubler. Three fastener across. And there is a filler. So we have doubler. We have filler. Again, filler is to fill out the space. Cross section of the repair, you can see here, it is a cut here, it is a doubler. And this is a form section. Why form section? You can see the radius is big. For the extruded section, the radius is sharp. So this is form flange. Form flange. Okay. This is a form. L angle. So the repair is typical by doubler. And then what do we do? What we have to do next is uh, here is the concept repair. You have to translate into the sketch for you to write your engineering order. Someone was asking about engineering order earlier. So we already have the section here. Here we have the section and this is a uh, you have to draw the another view. Okay. So I cut and we have the Here is the horizontal flange. Vertical flange, horizontal flange. And then we have cut. Cut off the section. And we have filler. And we have Doubler. So doubler is another air angle. So and then we have reverts. One Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we have the yeah. so two ticks. We have one, two, three, one, two, three. We have also in the middle two, 
pull that filler in place. We also have three. Okay. So this is a view the cross section AA. So we have here this one is AA. And then we have to start the label. We have to label the reverts. We have to label the doubler. We have to label the filler. We have to label the Is this turn? We also have to label the spacing. A way to put it. Uh, see here. So the fastener spacing. So we have to label the reverse. So we have one. Here is. Reverse. MS what? Two zero four seven zero diameter four mm. The label here is a uh, font too small. The label here this is filler aluminium alloy. Row to four P three. The MS say one point six mm. And here we have to label double aluminium. Alloy two zero two four P three thickness origin thickness is one point six the double one case higher one point eight mm then we have to label H distance E D to two two D which is two time 4 m, uh, mm because the river diameter we are choosing 4 mm so 8 mm so distance between the rivets to the edge of the plate for spacing say either between 4 to 6 d if we choose 4 is 4 times 4 16 mm or if we choose six six times four equal to twenty four mm you see the four between four to six d maybe you can choose four you can choose five you can choose six but not more than that that is standard practices so the next thing is we have to check we have to check all this whether this is true. Okay. We have to do the check. Check. Double. Thickness. 
Is it okay? Reverts. Share. Is it okay to take the share load? Ben. Fastener. Number of fastener. Number of reverts to be specific. Is it okay? Or oh, you have to add more? Number four. So those are the check you need to do. Either the doubler, the thickness is good enough. The reverts you chose is good to take up the load. Or the number of reverts is acceptable. How, what check do you need to do? So you have to do the stress. You have to do the stress. Analysis. Factor safety. That'll be 1.5. That the factor safety we go to our limit stress divided by limit stress must be not less than 1.5 okay questions bro sorry bro yep yep for the stress analysis, uh, is it just on paper or we need to do actual stress analysis on the uh, physical uh, repair? Uh, we do on paper. Unless, unless the methodology which is not given in the manual. You are doing repair and then you've been using the repair methodology which is not in the manual then you may need to have a sample test of the repair repair design before you embody the repair very good question but if you remain you follow everything for the manual most importantly the concept repair that's why the manual give you this concept repair so once you follow this concept repair you will not get thing uh totally wrong it may be some error somewhere but it will be within the track which you may not require to do the very very verification or validation of your repair design 